We're covered in dust, but we're definitely very happy. That's because we have behind us our finalists for best adventure vehicle. Absolutely. We've got two of the most exciting vehicles this year, the Ford Bronco and the Ram TRX. Completely different recipes of off-roading fun, but both really awesome vehicles. We didn't call this category best off-roader. We called it best adventure vehicle. Can you tell us what that means? Adventure means piling in with your friends or family and just going off and having a good time. It's not about necessarily being the hardest core. It's not about being the fastest. It's just about how easy is it to get out and have fun with your friends. Lots of vehicles could have qualified for this, but these are some of our highest rated off-roading adventure vehicles of the year. Absolutely. Let's take a closer look at them. The vehicle that truly needs no introduction, the Ford Bronco. Clint, this is one of the most hotly anticipated vehicles of this model year, and it's finally here, and believe it or not, it's living up to the hype. It's just so much fun. This vehicle has been such a long time coming for Ford, and it's so nice to finally get our hands on it as well. Yeah, they really decided to take that 25 years since we last had a yeah. Bronco on our shores and put all of that time and effort into building one of the most capable and enjoyable and accessible off-road machines on the market today. This is a first edition, which is a one model year only variant of the Bronco. It's pretty much everything off-road plus everything luxury wrapped in a fully loaded package. Yeah, and it has the upgraded powertrain, which is important. Yeah, this is a 2.7 liter EcoBoost, 310 horsepower, 400 pound feet, more than enough to have a great time all day long. Gets you down the freeway, but it's also really great in low speed off-roading situations as well. The thing about the Bronco that I've come to really enjoy as we're all spending time with it this week is the interior is so well thought out and there's some really great pieces of kit that are right in front of you as the driver and it makes it very accessible when you're off-roading. Yeah, so fully loaded with the Sasquatch package, this one has a locking front and rear differential. Both of those switches are right on top, right where you yeah. need them. You can also get trail turn assist, which when those differentials are locked, helps you get around tight bends. It's got a lower transfer case so that you can really crawl your way up steep hills and over rocks. This thing is just so well equipped to get out and have a good time in the dirt. And the last thing to consider with this, and an adventure vehicle in particular, there's so many different accessories you can add to it. Really make it your own. So when you're taking your friends, your family out for a weekend out, it's your Bronco the way you want it. Yeah, as you can see, this one has the brush guard attached. You can add racks, rooftop tents, all kinds of things to turn this into your particular adventure machine, all backed by a factory warranty. And if you want to build it into your financing, you can do that too. It does have some stiff competition with the giant monster next to me. Let's go see the TRS. Definitely has to be the biggest vehicle we've tested all week, but honestly, one of the most fun as well, the Ram TRX. Yeah, the Ram TRX is everything that's cool about a 1500, but just a little bit more. Obviously, it is so much wider. In fact, it's yeah. so wide that you have to have <laughs> clearance lights on the fenders and the hood just to be able to drive it on US highways. So it's definitely a whole lot of vehicle, and that extends under the hood as well. The recipe for this truck is not a complicated one. Take the Hellcat motor, shove it in everything you can. The Ram was due for it, and now we have it. Yeah, and you know, they did limit power somewhat. All you get is 702 horsepower Super and 650 pound-feet. But obviously, that is a stupendous number for a half-ton yeah. truck. This is the fastest pickup to 60. It's incredible. It's one of the fastest, period. And obviously, it's much taller, so you can really take that speed just about anywhere. All the fast, quick talk reminds me that this is kind of set up as a desert runner, yeah. more like a trophy truck. That said, we've had it out all week sort of doing some slower things, sure. some trails, some rock crawling, things like that, and it can do both. Obviously width is a bit of a limiting factor, but that's just about it. Ground clearance is great. Approach and departure angles are great. Yeah. The suspension is amazing. Suspension is wonderful. Big bumps and small bumps and everything in between. Overall, this is a really capable machine in all kinds of terrain. If there's a small, maybe large elephant in the room, it has to be the price. Yeah, unfortunately, this can very easily crest six figures. So this is not a cheap machine and it doesn't stop offending you <laughs> at the dealership either because it only gets about 10 to 15 miles per gallon. Off-roading like we were doing today, single digits, no, like without even trying. But the supercharger wine sort of makes up for it. Very intoxicating engine note, 100%. Now comes the fun part, let's pick our winner. Clint, no one's surprised by this. It's the Ford Bronco. This was nice, thank you. Can you get down so we can talk about it, please? Sure thing. It's impossible to have more fun off-road than in this machine. And you can do it for less money than this one is. We love this. It's yeah. a fully loaded, as good as you can yeah. get Bronco. It's phenomenal. But that said, you can get a two-door model 
uh, for a lot less money. Yeah, it starts at about $30,000 just under, and this one fully loaded is 60 grand, so you can kind of spec your Bronco anywhere you want it. You can get the Sasquatch package even on the base model too, so if you really want to have a good time off-road, you can still do it on a reasonable budget. And some of the pieces of off-road tech in this thing are just so next level. Absolutely, this one has Trail Control, which is Ford's version of off-road cruise control, and it works very well up to about 15 or 20 miles an hour, so you can really focus on just picking the right line. There's trail turn assist, like I mentioned earlier, as well as one pedal drive, which is really convenient if you're crawling over rocks and you don't have to do that back and forth dance between the gas and the brake pedal. So overall, it's really set up for the novice to get out and have a great time with a bunch of friends in tow. The Ford Bronco had a lot to live up to this year, and it's safe to say it has surpassed our expectation. And that's why it is our best adventure vehicle of the year.